It's well below freezing and my feet feel like they're in a bucket of ice. So let's talk about Cryolophosaurus. Cryolophosaurus, the cold crested lizard. Now the reason that we're talking about Cryolophosaurus now and I thought we'd have a nice little chat is, well, last night we had a substantial snowfall and <laughs> hasn't gotten above 20 degrees Fahrenheit at all today. So I figured, when would be a better time to do an outdoor segment about dinosaurs? So let's talk about the Cryolophosaurus, shall we? I've got one right here, so we'll be referring to it. And, uh, well, my coffee is no good at this point. <clears throat> the Cryolophosaurus, also known uh, as Cryolophosaurus elietti, uh, is an early Jurassic theropod uh, from Antarctica. Now, you may be wondering where in Antarctica? Great question. The Cryolophosaurus remains were originally found on Mount Kilpatrick in the Bearmere Glacier region. Uh, that's part of the Trans-Antarctic Trans Mountains. Uh, and this is all, all part of the Hansen Foundation. As we all know, mm, bop. Not that Hansen. The other Hansen. Well, I'm sure there's lots of Hansons, but it's just part of the Hansen Foundation. No relation to the band. <clears throat> now, the first Cryolophosaurus was excavated in 1991 by Dr. William Hammer. Now, the Cryolophosaurus is the first carnivorous dinosaur found in Antarctica and the first non-avian dinosaur to ever be named. There was one dinosaur that was excavated before Cryolophosaurus was but it sat and was not named for quite a substantial time. They got Cryolophosaurus out of the ground and uh, were able to, in 91, and were able to name it in 94. It's just a three year turnaround, pretty good for paleontology. <clears throat> now, Dave Elliott, uh, who was an Ohio State, pay, uh, Ohio State geologist, made the initial discovery of the Cryolophosaurus. And uh, when they were named the Cryolophosaurus, the full, uh, full name is Cryolophosaurus elietii, uh, they named the last part of it elietii after David Elliot. So that's why that is part of there. <coughs> now Cryolophosaurus is a theropod from the early Jurassic period. From where it was excavated in Antarctica, it was roughly lived between 194 and 188 million years ago. That is million with a million. <laughs> uh, it was about six to seven meters in length, or for us Americans, 20 to 23 feet in length. And it's estimated to have been about 465 kilograms in weight, or for us Americans, about 1,025 pounds. So this was a decent sized dinosaur, about medium size, not, not as big as the later Tyrannosaurus, but we have to remember, this is the early Jurassic, the early Jurassic, the early Jurassic period. So dinosaurs were just starting to come into their uh, fruition at this point. Now, I've been dodging the bullet. The cryolophosaurus, it's known as the cold or the frozen, that's what the cryo stands for, crested lizard. So we can't dodge the bullet anymore. We gotta talk about the skull of this creature. Now, when it was originally found, uh, there was a lot of the cryolophosaurus found. It was found with a partial uh, most most of the most of the skull it was missing the front the front half uh front half but it had the whole back half and had that very very iconic crest on top uh now what's interesting about the crest in relation to other theropods other uh carnivores at the time is most of the time uh carnivores if they have a crest uh, they tend to be parallel they'll go along the side but cryolophosaurus <laughs> No, it defied those odds. No, the Cryolophosaurus' uh, it, uh, crest went straight up at the back of its head. Now, <clears throat> if you want to think about it, it's a little bit like a pompadour. That's what a lot of people like to describe it as. It's a pompadour. Now, you may uh, know a lot of other famous pompadours. Conan O'Brien has a pompadour. Uh, but the most famous pompadour is, is the king, Elvis Presley. Which is why sometimes people call the Cryolophosaurus the Elvisaurus. 
I won't be calling it that. I'll be calling it by its actual name, the Cryolophosaurus. Now, this uh, this crest was merely an extension of its skull. And it's like the skull went like this and whoop. <clears throat> now, whenever you see any sort of skull adornment like this, uh, there's a lot of questions in terms of what was it used for? Uh, was it a social thing? Did it, did it help uh, with identification? Was it a sexual status? If we're talking about sexual statuses, that would make a lot of sense in relation to Elvis Source. We're not. Uh, honestly, uh, it was more than likely an intraspecies identificational mark that helped help them identify each other within the species. Now, that is still filled with snow. I can't drink out of it. Uh, now, uh, there's a lot of questions. Uh, uh, there's not a lot of questions in terms of what it ate. It ate meat. Uh, it is more than likely a scavenger. A lot. Of, there's a lot of evidence that says it was probably a scavenger. There was originally a lot of talk that this uh, the the specimen of Cryolophosaurus possibly choked to death because they found this rib bone lodged in its throat of a prosauropod. Uh, and that was the assumed belief for at least a decade. Uh, when they went back and studied it a little bit more, that theory was thrown out. No, 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 no. The, uh, the way the Cryolophosaurus was found, it actually was uh, part of its bone, its skeletal structure that just uh, kind of just lodged in a weird way during fossilization. A lot of things can happen to a body when it's decaying in the art of fossilization. <laughs> well, I mean, a lot of things can happen to a body when it's dying and decaying anyway, but I mean, we're talking about the Cryolophosaurus right now. We're not talking about, I don't know, other dead bodies that you might find in a creek behind your house in vegetation covered with snow, slowly being covered, destroying any evidence. Anywho, mm. now the Cryolophosaurus was discovered in Antarctica. Now you may think, huh, 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 this dinosaur lived on the ice. No, Antarctica at that time, in the early Jurassic, was much closer to the equator. It was considerably warmer than it is now. It's considerably warmer than it is where I'm living right now as well. Uh, but it was still a little cool. It probably never dropped below freezing like it is here today, but it was definitely cool. Er, cooler. I mean, the Cryolophosaurus, very cool. Now, one cool thing about how the Cryolophos Cryolophosaurus is, uh, ooh. Ugh. Oh, I didn't know this one made any noise. Okay, you can stop talking now. Uh, the Cryolophosaurus almost showed up in the Netflix, Netflix series uh, Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. Uh, there were early sketches of possibly including a baby Cryolophosaurus as part of the series, but in the end, this was swapped out for everyone's favorite, Bumpy the Ankylosaurus. Sorry, baby Cryolophosaurus, maybe one day we will still probably never see you on screen. Well, I am really starting to get cold. I am glad that I wore my jacket, but I feel like this has been a wonderful little chat. So uh, come back next time and we can have another chat. Until next time, uh, whew, stay warm. <laughs> you want some? Ah, Cryolophosaurus likes snow. Meh, meh.